Kuhn Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global in Manchester for the Undercard Press Conference for Warrington against Frampton. I'm joined by Mark Heffron. Mark, I'm really worried about this interview. <laughs> no, it's gone. I'm sound. You didn't say a lot in the press conference, did you? You don't really like talking. I know this about you anyway. You kind of keep it very short it in your answers. Definitely like my talk in the ring. Why? Are you not like that as a normal... Your normal personality isn't like that, is it? No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not really a big talk. I, I just say what I've got to say. And I do the rest in the ring. OK, that's, that's <laughs> a good line. That's a good line. Um, yeah, I mean, it's no secret kind of... You've kind of struggled to get opponents. I mean, people mm -hmm. forget, how long have you been pro? What, eight years? Yeah, yeah. Eight years now, yeah. And yeah. You, I'm not saying you're an avoided man as such, but it has been a little bit of a struggle for you yeah, to yeah, kind of get matched up. Good, yeah, I've been, um, been, been gutted um, for the last few weeks thinking that I wasn't fighting for the British title because no one to step up to fight me. And um, so I said thanks to Liam Williams for coming up away and to, um, to fight me for the British, yeah. So I'm buzzing to, to, um, to finish the year off with the British title. As frustrating as it was for you, do you really blame Jason Wellborn for going out to America, that opportunity you got to fight? No, definitely not. So, um, obviously, he's been getting massive money for it, so he's, he's going to do that, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, it, just, it was a bit of a kind of shock to see he was fighting Joe Definitely, Hurd, but he only had another defender too, like, of the British, do you know what I mean? But uh, if I was him, I would have would have wanted to win the British outright and then move on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I said, his situation doesn't really help your situation, no. but I suppose, you know. But Li Liam Williams, obviously, uh, he's stepping up to the plate, but kind of put himself in line for this, and it makes for a great fight as well. Yeah, definitely makes for a very good fight. It's, um, it's a fight that I'm absolutely buzzing with, and I uh, can't wait for it now. I'm looking forward to it. You've been sparring Liam Smith. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, there's a, that story came out a few days ago. So, was that strategic in, in fact, of having those wins over Liam Williams? And you yeah, thought, um, why not get him in for sparring? In that, yeah, yeah, because it's similar styles. He puts the pressure on, like, uh, Liam. But yeah, I've been getting uh, top rounds in with Liam Smith. He's been, um, been telling me little things here and there about the faults of uh, Liam Williams. So, yeah, I'm um, just looking forward to it. And I can't wait. Hmm. Anything else he's been telling you? Well, I'm not going to say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to. I know I said it then, a few, a few of things. But nah, nah, there's loads of little things that he's uh, been telling me. Yeah, I'm thankful for everything what he's doing for me. Well, it should prove to be a great fight. Definitely. So, um, yeah, let's see uh, how it pans out on December 22nd. Yeah, um, it's going to plan out with Mark Efron and knock out Victorious. Okay. Have you got anything else you'd like to add, mate? Um, no, no, I'm just, uh, just want to say thanks to all my fans that are coming down. I've done, a, done over 600 tickets, 60 grand for tickets. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming down to support me. No problem. Thank you. Mark, thank you very much for talking to us and we'll definitely catch up with you soon.